YouTube, what the crap's going on? Patchy Spartan here in Halo 5 Guardians, where I want to bring you kind of a video that has some gameplay in the background so that you have something fun to watch. Uh, it's going to be multiplayer gameplay today. I can show you all some campaign if you want, but since the game's so new, I don't want to spoil a lot of campaign. <laughs> Not like that's an issue. There's about 6 million Halo campaign videos out on the internet right now. So yeah, I just want to show you a little bit of multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer is great, um, but again, I want to just have this be a quick review with some gameplay in the background. You're going to be seeing two game modes today. You're going to be seeing uh, Breakout is the first one on the map Altitude, and then the second one's just going to be some classic Halo Slayer on Fathom. Air, where's the Warzone? Warzone's coming. I'm building up a few rec packs, that way we have some fun stuff to watch. Warzone is an awesome multiplayer mode. But again, today, Breakout. Breakout is low, they're pretty much no shields, um, low shields, whatever you want to call it. A couple of headshots will take people out. It's four on four, it's in an arena map, um, so kind of close quarters. There's a power weapon and a couple of battle rifles, and um, it's there's no radar or anything else like that, it's all visuals. There's a neutral flag in the center, so if you capture the flag, you win the round, but generally you're not going to see the flag being captured. It's the first team to win five rounds, no respawns. So each round, there's no respawns. When you die, you die. So, very fun mode. Again, this is on altitude, but I don't want to just sit here and commentate on what I'm doing in the match. I want this to be more of a review opportunity for me and give you some of my thoughts on the game thus far. So that's what I'm going to be up to here. Let's go ahead and get on in. That TGN emblem seems like it's huge. I might be able to cut it down some in the next one. There we go. I think I've got everything set there where there won't be any enemy outlines or anything. So yeah. I love the intro to these, by the way, too. So this is just one of the reasons why Halo 5 feels pretty polished. Like, they have these little intro scenes. Why is it? There we are. So there's my character. Go, go, go! Okay, we can't get it. That's good. So this is exactly the way I saw the game. And... Yeah, I don't think it's going to turn on a little Maybe you can, maybe you can. Anyway, um, look at that. Awesome, accurate BR. I never miss. No, I'm still getting used to the controller, so let's talk through some review things. The game is quite polished. It feels like a complete game. This feels like the first complete game that I've bought in probably like a year. Uh, the Total War games I've bought, they've been fun, but there's just always, you, you know on day one, that I don't feel like that with Halo 5 right now. Um, I don't feel like the game needs a patch. It, it needs more maps. It has, you know, it has plenty of maps to, to keep us having one. fun right now. And essentially, there's going to be more coming for free, which has already been announced. So you get basically Round 8 to 12 two. hours of campaign. You get arena modes, and uh, you get arena multiplayer. Which has like Slayer objective games. You get Warzone, which has got all the requisitions. So many customizations. I'll show it to you. It's crazy. Except all the customizations and power ups are actually work in Warzone. Which means that, um, Four on two. <laughs> wait, why does it switch off? Jeez, there we go. See, I've got the Hydra launcher here. This is a new weapon. Three anyway, yeah, all these customizations give you a lot of stuff to try and do. Um, a lot of stuff to try and unlock. It's going to make the game lively for a lot of people. Two on two. And I think make it a lot of fun. So, just my overall impression of the game, just right, right, out, right off the bat. Again, I haven't finished the campaign. I've played uh, a couple head hours of it at least. I've played, uh, you know, 10, 12 rounds of multiplayer. I've been busy since it launched. I haven't been able to pour tons of hours into it, but just easily Round right off the bat, three. a 9 out of 10 on this game. It's by far the best Halo game I've played. Stay focused and, roll. and Halo 3 was amazing. So, I don't know why it switches off me at the beginning of each round, so I uh, have to make sure we get back to my character. I'm going for the Hydra again. Um, and you'll get to see me use two. it throughout the match, so I'll just... Again, I don't want to commentate the match. Yeah, why am I giving it high ratings? Uh, the graphics are pretty good. Um, it's it's an Xbox One, it's not a computer, but for an Xbox One, which is a fairly limited console, they did a really good job with the graphics. One of the things that I, they did that I think is really genius, the game plays in 60 FPS constantly. It doesn't get all frame laggy and stuff. And what they did was they set up a dynamic resolution. So rather than sacrifice frame rate, they sacrifice some game resolution in order to keep it running. Yes. Now, a lot of people who watch my channel are PC We're gamers are probably we'll laughing this. because if you get the right PC build, of course, except for on Attila, um, you end up generally... Uh, you end up generally... Um, someone got a crust closer, 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 quickly. And that means they they, they killed multiple people with one grenade. Round I didn't even five. get a chance to do anything. There we are. 
get back up my character. Go, go. So, um, yeah, anyway, it's... Now I'm trying to remember where I was at. Uh, I'm talking about Paul. Yeah, the Total War games, they, they've all been kind of rough on launch, and I say that with all due love. I, I love the Creative Assembly, I love Total War, I'm never going to quit playing Total War, but their launch has recently been a little rough. I'm obviously hoping better with the new ones, but... This is what I love about this. The Master Chief Collection released, it was a disaster. And it had most of us absolutely worried about Halo 5. In fact, I didn't even pre-order Halo 5. Didn't pre-order it. Didn't want to pre-order it because that was kind of my way to make sure Microsoft had to come back and learn this. Um, I know I'm just one person, but that's the way I handled it. I was pleasantly surprised when I get into the game. It's fun. It's complete. It's a riot. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I can't stop playing it. It's not just because I'm a Halo fanboy, because I am. I'll admit when Halo's had mistakes, and the Master Chief Collection was an unmitigated disaster. You've heard me say it before, it's still a disaster. Um, anyway, so yeah, now it's one-on-one -on -one here. We'll see how I do. Um, anyway, I love it. It's a great game. It's tons of fun. Uh, I'm having having a grand time in it. I, I come home one to play it every day, which is a big deal. Shot in the back, of course, because I'm a pro. <laughs> and I just want I just want to get more of it. Um, the rec packs make Round multiplayer six. very fun. I'll show you more about the rec packs after this match, and then we'll jump into another match. But, um, yeah. as far as campaign goes, the story is not, um, blow me out of this world. I've read the Halo books, I've played all the Halo games, I kind of know the extended universe in Halo fairly well. If you know the extended universe, I think the story's going to be more fun than if you're maybe a new player to Halo, but the story's still fun. It's a good campaign, it's there, as opposed to, say, like, Star Wars Battlefront, which doesn't have a campaign. And we're on a different player on the other team once again, because I'm a doofus and keep forgetting. Anyway, so um, here I am just sitting around with the BR, probably haven't done a whole lot yet anyway. And I can't shoot straight with the BR anyway, not yet. The controls on this one, the default controls, are very different than, than any um, Halo I've played in the past. They're, I don't know if they're similar to other games or not, but the left stick is the, uh, is the zoom. And it used to just be the right stick was the zoom on Halo. Yeah, the right stick was the zoom. So I'm one playing though on the left. default controls because I want to learn it because it seems like Standing. if I can learn them and get used to one them, they'll be three. better than the classic Halo controls. So I can switch it. I'm just choosing not to. Um, one on two. Yeah, one on two. Probably don't have good odds since I couldn't make them odds. And if, you know, if I would have had a better position, I do have the battle rifle and, and again, you saw me miss a few headshots there. If I would have calmed down, landed the shots, probably could have pulled that off. But anyway, the red team just tied it up. It's three to three. So we'll see how, how it goes from here. Remember, it's the first team to five, and my performance so far has been pretty craptacular. So I'm, I'm really hoping to turn this around and be more of a performer for the team and help out. So I'm going to go for the Hydra. Anyway, the story, I, I'm having a ton of fun in the campaign. There's lots of bosses. The, the fact that all weapons, you can, you can zoom in on all weapons now, which is really cool in my mind. Um, it makes, Halo has always been a shooter uh, type game. And where you, you know where you mostly shoot from the hip, uh, but you know it's on this one it's kind of fun to zoom in more on the campaign at least. You know sometimes in, in multiplayer it's the right time, sometimes it's not. Uh, but I, I find it to be a lot of fun to zoom in on campaign with like the assault rifle and the uh, the SMG and all the other guns that were normally just like a very close range weapon in other Halos. But because you can zoom in with these now. Um, and not to mention the zoom in looks cooler, it feels cooler, it makes you feel more immersed in the gun. Um, it's definitely a lot of fun, I, I enjoy the zoom in, and it makes all those guns more useful because it makes them like better from close to mid range rather than always being short range, and it makes them more precise. You can put more shots on an enemy's head, you can use them, so it just makes it more fun in campaign. To end. And campaigns just loaded with weapons. There's weapons everywhere, all kinds of weapons. And there's even some of the like very special weapons that you can open up as rec packs in multiplayer uh, in the campaign. So like special one of a kind weapons that you can get. Um, so they actually managed round to take round one. for our team. So I was pretty happy Enemy to finally have been some use to our team. And then we'll come to the last round here. Round eight. So the enemy team's facing elimination. If we, um, if we win this round, we win the match. One more time, Spartans. And, uh, once again, I'm going to go for Hydra because I had some decent luck with it to finish off that round. Um, anyway, so yeah, the, the campaign has all these different guns. The levels are fun. Um, you get to go to several different planets in the game, which is pretty cool. Like, uh, and I'm not going to say all of them just in case you don't want it to be spoilers. Yeah, you get to fight on several different planets. It's got a couple of levels that are kind of more like investigative, just walking around, not shooting, which is almost reminiscent of... Uh, 
<laughs> it's almost uh, reminiscent of um, Halo 3 ODST. So I finished off the match, helped our team win the last two rounds, which was good. I didn't win it single-handedly, but helped win, which was nice. I don't know if that's my Spartan there or not, I can't remember. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed um, that uh, replay. Uh, I thought that one was obviously not like a big showing on my part, but just fun to watch. Let's go talk about the requisitions a little bit, and then I'll, I'll show you another uh, replay. Um, let's see here. We're going to go into the Spartan Hub. And under here in requisitions, you have a store. So this uh, Warzone bundle here is something you can buy. It's like 25 bucks. I don't know why you'd buy it. That's just my opinion. But if you got the collector's edition of the game, or not the collector's, well, yeah, the collector's edition or the limited edition, this came with it. But you can buy it separately for $24 or something if you want. Um, there are microtransactions. You can see you can buy these packs for money here. Um, what these requisition packs are is they come with, I don't, I mean, I can buy this bronze one and I'll show you. I hate spending money on bronze because they're not really worth it, but um, I'll buy it and just to kind of show you. So you can buy the pack with points. You can see down there in the bottom right hand, I have 1932 rec points. This one's 1250, so we buy the bronze pack. And it tells you what the packs are. Boom. Open the rec pack, so what do I get? I get a crap load of bolt shots. And you'll see this one's a certification, so that means that um, my Spartan's authorized to receive more of this requisition in the future. Um, so when you unlock something like that, you're more likely to get a lot more of them. And so you can see I got one that's random weapon here, common. So all these are common, and it's because I bought the cheaper rec pack. Um, there's like a, several stages of the type of item you can have, and let's go look at it. Uh, here's a commendation reward pack, so I achieved a field commendation. Let's open it, see what's inside. Needlers, ghost, mon er, yeah, mongoose, random weapon, random vehicle. So just some common stuff there that you get. And all these can be used in Warzone. And if we go to uh, power weapons and vehicles, you can kind of take a look at what, what I've unlocked, essentially. So these are all um, requisitions that I can call in in the Warzone game mode, which is a multiplayer 12 versus 12 game mode. I don't have a film of Warzone to show you just yet. You'll see one soon, but I wanted to explain this. This brings you back to the game. This is fun. It almost reminds me of like the Shogun 2 avatar system. You're unlocking things, armor sets, guns, weapon skins. And some of you might be like, well, Eric, if you can unlock this stuff, then clearly people are going to have an unfair edge. Well, in Warzone, it's kind of a little more asymmetric. And then the rest of Halo uh, multiplayer right now, though, like, so if you go back and look. Yeah, if we go here. So anything in Warzone, you can use those requisitions. Anything over here in Arena, you cannot. So Arena is classic, fair start Halo multiplayer, the kind that we all love. Warzone is kind of like a big team battle, but it's a new version. In fact, we could, well, I don't have time to play Warzone live on this one. I'll get one for you. And in fact, I'm probably not even going to show the other replay. I just kind of wanted to talk through um, just kind of some of the early review things. And I'll just keep reviewing what I think of the game as we, as we go along. But uh, in any case, that's just kind of what we're what we're seeing so far in Halo 5. I like it. And as far as custom customizations go for your Spartan, there's a ton. And these armor sets you actually unlock in the uh, rec packs as well. I've only unlocked a few, none of which are you know particularly um, like rare or anything at this point. Oh, there's some cheap armor that's looking pretty sweet. Engineer, I'm an engineer. I'll take that. So yeah. These are the helmets. I don't have much unlocked here either. Just, you know, all the basic stuff. I haven't gotten a lot of armor. Obviously, haven't gotten any other visors yet, but there's a ton of stuff you can unlock. Um, and there's, there's like, I, I can't remember. I mean, it's just hundreds and hundreds of armor customization possibilities. The colors you can change and all that kind of stuff that's normal for Halo. It's back. Um, you have the Spartan ID emblem, so you can unlock these different emblems, some of which are kind of legendary, hard to get um, type stuff. So that's also really fun. Um, just all these different things add up to keep you coming back to the game. You can unlock stances, so the way your character looks on the card. Um, you can unlock assassination um, uh, animations, stuff like that. So, I mean, there's just all kinds of cool stuff that you can do. Uh, weapon skins is kind of cool, too, because you can unlock these. You can get different skins. Like, I do have one assault rifle skin uh, that's right there. Um, so, and then the other cool thing <laughs> that you can unlock... Um, ch -ch -ch requisitions collections, loadout. So under assault rifle, for instance, there's tons of different variants of the assault rifle that you can use in Warzone. Like this one that I unlocked here, Recon AR Common. Um, it's got a, it's got an energy bayonet, so like a little mini energy sword on the end of it, which is super cool, and it has a better scope because it's a Recon AR. And there's whole bunches of different variants, all these long shot AR, Recon ARs, 
Um, just all kinds of cool stuff that you can open up, and you can use these as requisitions in Warzone. I will show you more of these as we go along, but again, I like that because it's only in Warzone. It gives you a reason to want to buy the rec packs, and you don't have to do it with real money. I'm not going to buy any rec packs with real money, even though I can. I just don't want to. I want to unlock it. It's more fun. So I think it's great. The people who want to buy it, buy it. Great. Go knock yourself out. I don't see why, but for me, it's so much fun because each game now means something because I'm unlocking something and I can come back and I enjoy that type of thing. Um, it, it's Halo's fun as it is, and then just kind of getting to unlock the stuff on top of it just makes it a lot of fun for me. Anyway, I've probably talked about this enough just to give you a quick little overview. I know that's just one match. I'll be back with more footage soon. Hope you all are enjoying this so far. Air of Carthage, sign